I wanted to show you this so you understand why I'm about to do what I'm going to do. And I, it really don't show up that well. The grill, bumper, headlight, uh, fender extensions, everything on this car up front is level. On this side, it has got quite a bit of a gap. On this side, you can barely get your finger in it. All the way across, and it starts getting wider. All the way through here. My dad wants this level. So, it's gonna be level. I'll be back in a few when, I, when I've done what I'm gonna do. All right, so, if you're the kind of person that when you're watching a video gets outraged when they see somebody do something to an, a, a genuine 70 early 70 super sport hood then you might as well turn this off took the saw well grinder i cut it here here across through here and down through here i can I can push this back in line with it to weld it. I can weld those gaps up. The hood is within my measurement of being straight. Before I weld it, completely though i'm going to uh open this door up and look at it but i didn't wear no hood yeah that's an original hood the other side of this hood is full of body filler because at one point in this car's life the hood had been folded so what I'm about to do ain't no different than what they did on the other side. The hood was tinted. So. Always remember, straight. And as my dad put it last night, straight by any means necessary. So, I'll be back in a minute. All right, so and ground, welded, weld's been grounded down. It's got some waviness to it, but where I draw down that corner, it was going to. As you can see, it already had filler. So I don't care. looks better across the front. That's all that matters. Back in a few with more. All right. So I'm putting what should be the last Bondo on it.
that was a uh, skim coat. I already covered up the rest of it. Here in a minute, I'll uh, show y'all what it looks like when I'm sanding it, and then after it's done. I want to say that I'm sorry that I didn't uh, show you as much. I did at least stop and show you what it looked like between steps. This is not necessarily, it, it, it's not the way you want to fix your car. I mean, I guess there's a time and place for it. I had no other way of getting that hood edge down. The entire hood's bent anyway. The best I can do with this hood is make it look good from a distance. And it was a hundred, it was a $100 swap meat hood, you know, so. It's not like I've ruined anything. I just made it to where it fit this car better. It's still off like a uh, quarter inch probably. You can stick both fingers in it before you can stick one in it now. So it's a lot better gap and it's the same as the other side. So now I'm going to spend the next however long this takes to sand that hood down. And then I'll show you what it looks like.
All right, so there's still one more spot. I'll be back in the queue. All right, so turns out it didn't need more. It needed more took off. I didn't have my, uh, didn't have my body line right, and I'm not sure that side is. 
I just kind of made this side match that side. Let me see. Man, it's not perfect. But it's a lot better than it was. I lined it up. I lined it up to the top chrome on the grill. I know this ain't accurate. That side's still a little closer. This is up a little, and this pretty much matches that. That's as good as it gets. I blended it the best I could from here into here. That's pretty much how you uh it's pretty much how you do something when your uh car's off a little bit everywhere. It's as good as it gets. It's not perfect, and it's like I said, it's not perfect, and it's never going to be perfect. But this is a uh, best I could do. Tomorrow, I sand the rest of the hood and primer the front a couple times. Oh, and that's, that's not a lot of Mondo. That's like, okay, at the thickest part, it's a quarter inch deep. It's not a lot of Mondo. There's always, that head definitely doesn't have a lot of Mondo compared to this, or compared to the roof on this car. Especially compared to that door or the other fender. So there's filler all over this car, and it's just a little bit on the front edge of this hood. Don't bother me any. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I figure for now, uh, I thought about this last night, for now I'm just going to make a video every day, because I'm doing something every day. So, today I fixed the hood.
fist is used usually, you know, very loosely. That, that hood, it was a hundred dollar hood. It'll last. If it ever starts giving more problems, we'll find another hood. Dad didn't want a Chinese hood. And honestly, in all reality, chances are really that a fucked up original hood is still better than a reproduction. So, here in a few, I'm going to keep sanding. I'm going to wet sand the whole hood and maybe even that fender. But this is pretty much it for this video. So I'll make one tomorrow and give you another little update. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, or subscribe for more. If you do subscribe, hit that little notification bell or wherever it is. I think it's down here. To uh, get notifications when I update. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, God bless. Please have a good day. Thanks for watching.